houses CENTCOM intercepts Iranian weapons shipment, exposing Iran's malign activity. Introduction in a significant development, the United States Central Command CENTCOM announced the interception of a shipment of Iranian origin weapons and military equipment bound for Houthi rebels in Yemen. This move underscores America's growing concern over Iran's continued support for the houses and its destabilizing influence in the region. Interception of Iranian weapons on January 28, the U.S. Coast Guard intercepted a vessel in the Arabian Sea carrying a large cache of sophisticated weaponry. The weapons included medium-range ballistic missile components, explosives, unmanned underwater and surface vehicles, military-grade communications and networking equipment, and anti-tank missile launchers. These items were deemed to be in violation of United Nations Security Council Resolution 2216, which prohibits the supply of such arms to the houses. U.S. Self-Defense Strikes CENTCOM also reported conducting self-defense strikes against Houthi targets in recent weeks. On February 13, U.S. forces targeted a mobile anti-ship cruise missile that was preparing to attack shipping in the Red Sea. The following day, four more self-defense strikes were carried out against seven mobile anti-ship cruise missiles, three unmanned aerial vehicles, and an explosive device, all of which were poised to launch attacks against Red Sea vessels. Targeting Iran's supply chain, the U.S. military is determined to disrupt the flow of Iranian arms to the houses. CENTCOM has stated that it is committed to using all available legal authorities, including U.S. and UNI sanctions and interdictions, to deter the illicit flow of Iranian support to the region. This suggests that the U.S. may consider further actions to target Iran's supply chain. Houthi resilience despite U.S. efforts, the houses have demonstrated remarkable resilience in their fight against the U.S. This is largely due to their ability to acquire and deploy advanced weaponry such as ballistic missiles and drones. The source of these weapons has been a subject of speculation, with Iran being the prime suspect. CCP is role the U.S. has identified CCP as a key player in the supply of weapons and components to the houses. According to the commentary, China has adopted a strategy of fractionalization whereby it breaks down critical military components into smaller, less conspicuous parts and ships them through various companies and routes. This strategy makes it difficult for the U.S. to pinpoint and intercept the flow of arms. CCP is control over key components. The commentary emphasizes that the CCP maintains control over the production of key military components, giving it leverage over the houses. The houses are heavily dependent on Chinese military assistance and would be unable to operate effectively without it. U.S. understanding of CCP is support for Russia. The U.S. government is well aware of China's support for Russia's war effort in Ukraine. CCP has not provided direct military equipment to Russia but has instead employed the same fractionalization strategy to supply critical components. The U.S. recognizes this as a threat to its interests and is taking steps to counter it. U.S. military's response The U.S. military has developed a set of protocols for dealing with suspected terrorist activity or weapons shipments. These protocols authorize the military to intercept and seize any suspicious items and take necessary action. The commentary suggests that the U.S. is prepared to use these protocols to target Chinese companies and individuals involved in supplying weapons to the houses. Targeting supply chain, the U.S. military is compiling a list of entities involved in the production of weapons components for the houses. These entities may face sanctions or even military strikes in the future. The U.S. believes that disrupting the supply chain can weaken the houses and reduce their ability to launch attacks. Legal justification, the U.S. government has established a legal framework to justify its actions against Chinese entities providing assistance to Russia. The commentary outlines a graduated approach, starting with warnings and moving to sanctions and direct strikes. This framework provides the U.S. with the necessary authority to combat Chinese interference. CCP is engineering capabilities. The commentary highlights CCP's strengths in engineering and technical expertise. These capabilities allow China to manufacture 
architecture and assemble sophisticated weapons systems. The houses are likely receiving assistance from Chinese engineers to assemble and operate the weapons they have acquired. Conclusion: The U.S. government is taking a comprehensive approach to address China's support for the houses in Yemen by targeting the supply chain, disrupting production facilities, and establishing a legal basis for action. The U.S. aims to deter CCP's destabilizing activities. The ongoing conflict in Yemen remains a complex and challenging issue, but the U.S. is committed to using all available means to promote stability and security in the region. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, share, and smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.